Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Hope you guys are doing very well. This is an entertainment show that analyzes hot topics, talks about your favorite celebrities and a lot more. And to do that with me, I have Quincy Jones and Ifo Loshike. Hello, people. It's nice to have both of you back. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. How's it so going? So please, what was your diagnosis? <laughs> uh, What's I, wrong with you? I couldn't just be at work. I had to attend to personal stuff. Yeah. I should mm. be at the White House. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, what did you we, bring we back for about it. Huh? I laughed at. <laughs> so apparently, his his his, um, him, his yeah. Joe Biden's like new guy. Right. So he had to visit the White House like yeah. almost twenty times in a day. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, your White House is very small, actually. Yeah. Wow. It's so tiny. <laughs> Joe Biden. Well, that's the office they gave to me in the Oval Office. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to manage what I got. What you've got, have you? Yeah. Anyway, uh, what about you, Quincy? Have you been? Oh, great. I was on the show yesterday. No, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> How was that? Hmm. It was good. It was good. It was us? good. Well, yes, I, d I said it on the... Were you watching? Did you watch the show? Obviously. Oh, did you have a TV in your White House? <laughs> <laughs> did you have a TV in your White House? Well, my, I could see my TV from my White House. Really? Yeah. Just leave the door and let the yes. stank out. Uh, nobody's in there. Yeah. Nobody's in there. Okay, nah, okay. That's way too much information. I thought you were you talking know, about I, Biden. I apologize. Now nah, you're talking about leave the door open. No, so they're saying the stink. Are you calling to Biden the stink? <laughs> mm. Anyway, we have a lot to discuss today, so yes, I'm, 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 I'm very excited. The first on the list, though, is some, it's a story that I don't really understand, but I have very well-equipped people next to me, so I'm sure we'll finish this story well. CDQ has taken to social media to blast Burner Boy for thinking that he is bigger than football star Obafemi Martins. The rapper expressed disappointment over the singer's attitude towards the footballer. CDQ also stated that Burner Boy and his boys owe Martin an apology. Uh, popular Nigerian rapper um, Olowo CDQ has got people talking on social media after a recent tweet shared by a Instagram blogger that basically took it out. Burner Boy's behavior has been something that everyone has been worried about and always in the mix, but we don't really know what's going on. The entertainer expressed disappointment in Burner Boy for the first time for disrespecting Nigerian footballer star Obafemi. He also continues to warn that the title African Giant, which he tagged a village title, gets into his head and pushed him to behave, misbehave around people he should not. CDQ also emphasized that the football star is not anybody's mate, so Burner Boy should use his head and gather his boys to apologize. And he also said, anybody where they cry, they see rude. Hey. That's how we ended it. <laughs> I love that. And what does that even mean? What's that? Anybody, anybody where they cry, they see rude now. What does that mean? Okay, in its literal sense. Huh? Huh? Yeah, no, in its no, literal you sense, know. if you're crying, mm -hmm. you go see rude now. You don't make a jam. You, 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 you don't get as you won't cry, Rich. You can't know if you jam you. Yes, exactly. So it's like, you know, whatever <laughs> is shocking you. You'll still see. You're supposed to see, they see right. who be who and right. who be what. So I guess he's trying to insinuate that even if Burner Boy is upset, he can still act right. Is that what? No, not really. Say? It's more like no matter how much they hail you, you should really understand that some people pass you. Right. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the summary. Okay. What's your take in the story? Though? All right. So um, I saw this. I saw this yesterday at the heat of it all. Right. Um, City Q brought the entire thing to light. Mm. Right. With the tweet, which you you know just perfectly summarized. All right, so um, I did a little digging, and you know, it, it wasn't accurate at the time. This particular lady came up with a narrative, a, a, a summary of what had happened, saying, you know, um, it's alleged that uh, uh, Buffett Martins had an altercation or a situation with uh, one of Brenner Boy's boys, and Brenner Boy got mad. All right. uh, it seems, I don't know, what the, or who that person is to Brenner Boy, but it seems pretty important. Uh, and then he, you know, accosted uh, Buffett Martins to, you know, uh, apologize, apologize. And it sounds really weird because, I mean, it's a Buffett Martins, right? Exactly. Uh, it's worth about $12.6 billion. Uh, 12.6 12, 12 billion naira. Mm. Yeah. If you I check it. Lot, I say 12.6 uh, billion. Naira, relax. 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 You already even heard. When I heard <laughs> billion, I already knew it's Naira. Because they don't throw billion around. Down, around. Down, yeah. It's a lot of money, bro. It's a lot of money. Exactly. What are you on about? A billion dollars is more, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, my problem. Is. Okay, <laughs> either way, um, you know, all of that happened and then That's it became, like it became a situation where it was reported like uh, reported that 
uh, above him as he's allegedly slapped Burner Boy's guy. Mm -hmm. And then he got really weird and stuff like that. And they were actually going to make him frog jump or something like that. I'm going to make who for a job? Obafi Martin's frog jump and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, people at the club separated it. Can so you imagine? Now, Do you know that claim... meme of that child going, now, wow, can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like what, that child, <laughs> That's what came to my mind. With this story is this. Mm. The person who dropped that particular mm -hmm. narrative mm -hmm. says it happened at Quillocks. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Another situation came out saying it's, um, what's another this club? There's another club. Cubana. No, 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 it wasn't Kubana. The Kubana situation is different. <laughs> They're always packing people like Kubana. Mm. They packed another set again, mm. I think on Saturday or Sunday. Did you see the way they were rushing into the Black Maria? Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> like, yes, yes. Well, what's the point of that? Why were they rushing? <laughs> um, someone claims, it's alleged that um, some of the officers might have opened fire. Uh -uh. Now, they're not sure if it was live ammunition or rubber bullets. Oh, okay. But they saw open one type of fire, hmm. either rubber fire, or life fire. It's alleged. Alleged. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, go on. NBC. Alleged. <laughs> I say alleged like 20 times. <laughs> it's alleged <laughs> that, alleged that. Uh, sorry, I was yeah. alleged. Yeah, so either way, that, that that's the situation. Mm. But um, it seems really weird. If that's exactly what happened, I don't think that's exactly what happened though. But it seems really weird that um, if that's what happened, that, you know, anyone would treat up affirmative matters like that. Because mm. sure, I think of all of all football superstars, literally Obafemi Martins is the one that's closest to the entertainment industry, yeah. like the closest. And he actually, you know, my brother, football are different from artists. Last last, mm. do you understand football. what I mean? No, 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 no. Football are actually different from artists because you get some show where you go perform. If you like perform from now to next tomorrow, every you single day of your life, you don't get that yeah. money for one week. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, he's got a ton of money. Yeah. But aside from that international, you know, um, uh, he's not a small boy. He's not. In, on any in ground, any ramification, yeah. in, on any level, he's yeah. not. So I don't see any reason why that should have happened. Do you understand? But also, I want to look at it from Burner Boy's side as well. Uh, it could be the level of importance of the friend. Yeah, no, Do you know what I mean? Yes. No, but honestly though. Like, I'm like, nah, no, man, he call my guy. Yeah, I've, I've, no, he faced my guy. No, he faced my guy. If someone to hit the nail on the head, and you're just going around, you're just going around. If someone to mess with him, I'll defend my guy, right? And you tell about Femi to push bro, it. I, I bro, do <laughs> bro, do you want us to be real on this table? Yeah. This is cultism. I play. Mm. Don't let us even take it away from that, bro. Hmm. Let's call a spade. A Another spade. You, you angle. Wanna, you want to tell us what it is? Yeah, I want to tell you what it is. Okay, I'm listening. Because I don't understand why a bonner boy hmm. will have the F on you. Hmm. You understand? Hmm. Like they say, Toban Sukun, Yakama Ruju Rimo. Okay, so what's the, what's the, what do you call it now? I said cultism. Okay, so what, what's the angle to it there? That, that it is a cultism. The angle play. to it is that it is not new that Nigerian entertainers are flaunted their cult groups. Right. Now, oh, yeah. if you call something a cult, it's mm. supposed to be, they call it secret cult for a reason. Mm. You don't come to um, live television, live shows, live performances, live clubs, and be eating some things. Can you imagine? Thinking, can you imagine? Can you, imagine? you think no, I'm not going to wow. shut this table? <laughs> what table is that? I'm, oh, you want to act ignorant now? No, no. Ignorant. Oh, yeah. You're ignorant. <laughs> no, now. but. Wait till we don't know, we don't know now. Oh, mommy, I yeah. know because I know they hide down from us. Yeah. Okay. They, they, don't they, don't. they don't. I can tell you the list of celebrities that believe that belong to certain cults, and if they check the social media, you will find out that these people are there. It's on YouTube. Mm. I'm not going to stop talking. Now, some people are telling me to talk like I'm supposed to be scared of the cult, but I've got the Lord Jesus Christ, people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory. Yes. yes. So, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Mm. Do you understand? So you think that they hold up. So you think mm -hmm. um, Burner Boy decided to flaunt his courtesy side, supremacy his supremacy over 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 gold that is matters. probably but I don't know what it is because yeah. he hasn't flaunted anything. Mm. Okay. But I don't know what Burner Boy belongs to. So of all to. people to do that with or against? Because I mean, you know, you said no. something. You said you, you know, you so said your money something. don't count when it comes to these things. Well, you know, oh. it this, this is all. Oh, this is this I is. I wouldn't us. know, bro. Yes, you wouldn't know because <laughs> you want to act ignorant. But <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day. It is what it is. Mm. Now tell me why a bonner boy with tell about family matters. Exactly. Okay, so in this hypothetical, guys, bro, let me talk. It's uh, alleged. 
So in this hypothetical situation where yeah. it could be cultism, we will use your narration. This is just making super story scripts now. It's alleged. I said super story, Don't hypothetical. We were, hey, well, the NBC, not the year <laughs> super story. It's alleged. <laughs> they hear, they hear. I, I okay. trust they do. Yeah. Anyway, um, hypothetically speaking, right? Um, remember you said something that it depends on who the person is or whatever, whatever. Yeah. So there are situations where, or in a world where Obafemi is not... Um, his relevance doesn't matter. So let's say if you're working according to a code, which everybody does, what and cultists, are you, cultists, about? Um, 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 are you oh, getting? You're I'll about get cultism there. as well. Huh. Okay. Yeah, why are you running away from the cultism subject matter? We don't support Who that. Who is? On the table. Do I sound like yes, I'm running so away from anything? Let's talk about it, bro. Do I sound like that? Yeah, let's talk it is about very it. possible that if they're all working in the same code, that you could do what something. Code? I don't know. Am I a cultist? You, but you are the one talking about wait, wait, this. Yeah, let me land now. To tell you what called Bonner, is that what you want to hear? Bonner boy belongs to so so cult. I don't know. No, but I know I should that thing that they're actually. No, you guys, don't ask you. guys, I'm like, trying to make a point you. here. Yeah. What I'm, I'm saying is that I'm, I'm sure, like, okay, in my in my household, for example, there are some things that somebody would do. It doesn't matter if you're the mom or dad or whatever, and it would open the space for. I'm not saying disrespect, but somebody else can call you out, right? Even if you're supposed to be put in high. High regard. I'm sure even Buhari in, in other circles can mess up and he's allowed to be chastised, right? Mm. Maybe not as the president of Nigeria and we're using citizen and president relationship, but there'll be some kind of other circles that he works in that he can now be somebody that is, being, is able to be scolded. That's what I'm trying to say. So I, hypothetically speaking, you don't know maybe the code of conduct in which their cultism works if they are cultists. Is it's that he has allegedly, it's allegedly that yeah. it's permitted? It's permitted somebody yeah. like <laughs> that. It has permitted somebody like Burner Boy to be able to have that kind of high authority yeah. to be able to do that. Because I'm sure Burner Boy also answers to people that to us don't have the right to chastise Burner Boy because you know eyes Burner Boy is big, but in their code of context, Burner Boy is not. Mm. That's what I'm trying to say. Any other so, thing? All right. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you why this hits home for me. <clears throat> why does it? I've been a victim of cultism. Mm. Now I grew up in Abuja. For those who don't know, I grew up in Yaba. I'm a I think a lot of us don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm a proper Yaba boy, right? Okay. A friend of mine came to visit me. He hit a politician's car. The politician, he called me immediately. Some boys that were supporting the politician gathered around him. They were going to lynch him, and he called me. He said, bro, I just left your house, and they're about to beat me up. Come true. And I went there. Mom and dad, I know you guys are watching. They didn't know when all of this happened in the house. But, yeah, it happened. And I went there, and the politician, seeing me being very polite, being well-mannered, he said, no, 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 it's fine. Please let this guy go, right? But those touts wanted to get money, and they belonged to a certain cult, mm. right? They wanted to get money off the politician. As soon as the politician left, they waited for me at my junction. Now, what was your beef with me? You, because your papa get money, you did mm. drive different cars, this, 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 that. I left my car at Japa. <laughs> on foot. If you see this small boy, he washed his car in my neighborhood hmm. that chased me, told me to sit on the floor. <laughs> and I did. Do you understand? I That's did sad. sit on the floor. That's it was going to break a bottle on my head. Wow. I did sit on the floor because it was a cult. Hmm. And they were more than me. So it's not about money here. Hmm. Like I said, I left the car. They were on foot. <laughs> Do you understand? So it is not about money. So don't let us even downplay yeah. what it is that so cultism it is, it is, it is, is not a problem in this country. Mm. It is. Mm. Most not, of this cult that country. you see no, obviously that is sent to obviously. go and do the NSAS protest, that you see them going to uh, support politicians, loot ballot boxes. What do you think they are? Mm. You think they're normal boys on the street? Come on, man. Let's hit home and okay, let's face so, so, cultism. So look, look at this, right? There is obviously an apparent problem with cultism in the country. Mm. It's not hidden. It's very obvious, mm -hmm. right? But you see, I'm just saying, in this situation with Brenna Boy and Abafem Matters, I don't see it. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? I don't see you it. You don't see it because you don't know it. Oh, okay. He because I don't know it. ignorant. What, you, what is this? <laughs> what is my it? brother, now you implant knowledge on my head. Ignant. Which kind of knowledge the way you Baba, don't do? you know. I don't know anything, okay. bro. Uh -uh. Okay, Number four is to know. Let's do the one we know. Let's do the one we know. Why are you wearing black We know black black. about Nollywood, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> guys. That's where we're going. We know about Nollywood and we know the issues about Nollywood. And we yes, know the right. celebrities are in Nollywood. So let's let's talk about that one. The Living in Bondage, Breaking Free lead actor spoke exclusively to Ebuka on live after staring in the Nollywood blockbuster. Um, actor Jide Kene Atrufusi. 
uh, Swanky, JKA is what people know him as, has opened up to the challenges of working in Hollywood. In an exclusive interview, the actor revealed that among the numerous challenges of working in the Nigerian film industry, the constant stereotyping of actors tops the list. And I quote, the biggest problem I have with Nollywood right now is stereotyping. If the ghetto movies, if it's... If it's ghetto movies that is going on right now, everybody will go into ghetto movies. If it's love and comedy, let's go. We don't really do, we, we don't really do have a plan. We, ha we don't have a structure. It's all about the money. So if I had to come to Lagos before the time I did, I probably would have done more roles well and everybody else would put me in that kind of role. And that usually is the case when you look at those veteran actors. We usually, don't, um, we usually do not have anyone who has done a lot of things. Recounting how the lockdown um, of 2000, of, the COVID-19 lockdown affected his career. Post winning the AMVCA Trailer Blazer Awards, the actor revealed that it was a period of full reflection and understanding the industry, which has proven quite useful. So um, I think it is very nice to hear this because I'm is a very it? big... Is it really? Yes, it's very nice because okay. I used to think that the actors actually enjoyed this and everybody was just really playing safe mm. so i'm a big critic of um the nollywood industry i mm. think it's a complete failure i did film in school my last documentary was to make a short film so i'm very 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 invested in movies um yeah like i had to make documentaries in film school my last documentary was a proper feature film so i know like the, the art of it and how like there's levels to it and the expansion and how it can be really great and and all of that. And I think uh, Nollywood has played safe for the longest time and they refuse to move on. I remember when, I think when we started from 2012, 13 is when I started to see that they were improving with cinematography. Uh -huh. And like he said, people do, do they do copy, copy a lot. Once um, they made the first movie that has cinematography um, quality, everybody started making uh -huh. cinematography quality movies, but the content never changed. And there's somebody who mistakenly now do something that's really different. Everybody follows it. The reason why I'm, so, I'm happy about this conversation is because I thought actors themselves wanted to play safe as well because they were not capable of doing anything else. You know, so, you know. I'm sorry? I'm listening. So that's what I thought. I, thought, I just thought Patience genuinely likes playing um, evil role though. because she's good at that. There's a lot of people like that. He might be complaining about it, but there's a lot of people in that industry that like their safe space. So for me to hear that, it makes me at least a lot more certain now that it's not everybody who feels that way about um, complacency. So mm. um, why do you think they do that is my issue and how they can snap out of it. Obviously, this before, for me before. is even advertising that, oh, yeah, well, I'm, a, I'm a flexible actor. Don't give me roles that I've used before. So I kind of like where his, his, his head is at. Um, before I get to the why and the hows, on the personal note, I think um, if you were to be a superhero, I would give him the name Captain Obvious mm. because he just came out, ranted about a bunch of things that are just obvious. Okay. Thank you very much. Hence the name. There's nothing. He wasn't saying anything. There was no sense in everything he said. Huh. Really? Because let me wait, wait, hold on. Let me let me get at what I am, what I'm saying. All right. You can't. I think he needs to Google the meaning of stereotype as well. Um, you can talk about stereotypes and then talk about how everybody's making the same thing. There are two different conversations. One, it um, is. there are two different conversations. They are. No, there are two different conversations. Am I agreeing that they are two different? No, I'm telling him. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I'm asking that as well. So you just told me. Yes, there are two different conversations. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. so, should I tell you again? Yeah. All right. So um, the two, what's it called? Uh, for. The repetition in roles and characters. He did that line. For that, the repetition in roles and characters. That is stereotyping. Yeah. Yes, that is stereotyping. Yes. But you see, um, you don't get to see a lot of that in foreign movies because we don't even watch as much foreign movies as they make foreign movies. Do you Come again? What I mean? Okay, so um, <coughs> most times when people talk about this, it's always in comparison to Hollywood and how yeah. much Hollywood is doing. Mm -hmm. But you see, the stereotypes in Hollywood are soup, they're huge. Mm. The, the same actors, they're super huge. The as huge Dwayne as ours? Johnson's, yeah. Dwayne Johnson's character has always been the same. No, I was even going to Hold use on. him as an example. Wait, that's an I was example. Talk about actually. Adam Sandler. Hold on. Oh, Adam Sandler, yeah. Do you understand? But Adam Sandler yeah, is a whack actor. Yeah, are you kidding? Yeah. What are you talking about? He's <coughs> a successful actor. He is in being whack. Let's not, you can't I, argue that one. What, what, you Sam, cannot argue. Adam, Sandler, look, Adam I don't think Adam Sandler is one. Hey, but Lord. let's not even, it's not even about the quality of the actors. But it happens in foreign movies as well. That well, you not get to as compare much. With. It's not Dwayne Johnson. Baba, not as don't much. Put Dwayne Johnson. Look at this. Not as much. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson. Bro, relax. 
How many how many comic movies has Dwayne Johnson really done compared comic, to the superhero movies, movies? Superhero movies. Baba, Dwayne Johnson oh. is the hero of let everything. Let me tell you. Let me tell Dwayne you Johnson why. is here Johnson. saving his family. Dwayne Johnson is saving me. Dwayne Johnson is saving Africa. Dwayne Johnson is saving the whole world. Tell me. Dif tell me Baba, what off the bat. When I mean movie. superhero, I don't mean actual superhero. I yeah. mean superhero in like, action. No. Like saving movies. Me. We're talking yeah. about people they use for superhero roles. Now that's not being. No, no, missing no, my no, point. No, no, you're missing my point. No, what I'm saying is that Dwayne Johnson. Cannot be the type of actor you put in that stereotypical. No, category. he's not. He's not. I mean, he he does do, do he a does lot of a lot. common stuff, but he does other other yeah, kinds of stuff. Lot, you see, let me say Adam Sandler. Look, look, what what I would say, like, remember when we were having this conversation about public figures and celebrities, and I was saying that celebrities is great to celebrities. So even in acting, the actors, there's levels, right? So you yes, have yes, you have the A-list actors. The A-list actors in Hollywood do not do stereotypical roles. Obviously. Lupita, um, George Clooney, Denzel Washington, J.M. Jackson, um, Samuel Jackson, all of those people. When you take Nollywood and you put the A-listers, they are doing stereotypical roles. No, so we have a problem. I want to I want to explain where you are coming Look, from. Give me one A-lister that does not do stereotypical is, no, no, roles. No, no, I understand what you're saying. I'm not disagreeing with the stereotype. I'm just saying it's everywhere. No, let me explain. Um, let me, let me North explain. North Korean, is it, isn't it North Korean movies let me explain now? Let something sorry, that is Them Go Jump Pion, what's their name? Go Jump Pion boys, you know? All them, you, I, don't, I don't know. Let That's the only name I know. Them North Korean movies. American. They do the same stuff over and over again. No, the but there's levels to it. Dance, and Nigerians do not bad. Let me explain what is different with American stereotypical what, what is, what is, roles what is. and what is different with Nigerian. The difference now, is quantity. Hold up. Yes, yes, that's it. It's just exactly. quantity. Oh, I'm already explained that. If, you, if, if Nollywood is delivering 2,000 movies in a year, And right? they're all You will see one particular guy in the 2,000 movies. Now, <laughs> America will give That's you every three, three years. That's yes. the difference, bro. They what? will. And they'll give you one guy every two, two, three, three years. No, because you are over here. see no. 10 movies in one week. I, no, I'm one sorry, I disagree. One particular guy acting as a farmer. If I, I disagree. One particular guy acting as Babalawo. <laughs> if I, I disagree. That's, a, that's no, all. No, I disagree. Look, this is it. The market is very simple in Nigeria. Once you're big enough, right, you become the consistent face. Yes. No vex. Because yes. in Nigeria, we're not, we're, sorry, our that, industry is not big enough mm -hmm. yet. That's not a problem. Look at this. You have a face, he sells the numbers. Mm -hmm. It's very simple, yes. very direct. Yes. Even for, uh, Every Hollywood market as well. is like that. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. But you see, do we have very it's few A-listers? We have yeah. very few A-listers in, uh, in, in yeah. Hollywood mm -hmm. that can actually pull it off. That's why you see these guys. Odun Ladi must be in almost every bloody movie. That, which is not because a problem. It's not a problem. Yes. Yes. Right? Odun Ladi act in the same roles. Oh, no, no he started diversifying. Yeah. He started well, you say, diversifying. He started. That's how he's been. No, nope, that's a great not. actor. Oh, wow. It's not about... This is not about Odun Ladi. I'm acting. just saying stereotypes exist everywhere. Yes. He does. There's no doubt. And you see that, your analogy of... You see one guy three years in, in the Yankee yeah. movie. No. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is you're well, you rating... Yes when I said no, he, he, should no, he say yes? No, should no, he say no, yes? No, 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 no. You're rating it, you're rating it via blockbusters, right? You're rating it via the movies that are huge okay. worldwide. All right, all right. You we don't what? see the ones that are failures. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? And we don't see the ones. Yes, now. Because okay. if you go blockbuster, so if you go. consider failures if you in check, Nigeria. So, how do we check what movies are you know, failures? You know, you said, you said, you said, you said something. You said that there's a failure. All of them are. No, you said that there was. You said actually. that there was a face, and then people would, you know, people would use Recycle that face all the, the face, time. Yes. You see, there's nothing wrong with that. Right now, the person that's hot is Denzel Washington's son. The person that was in Malcolm and Marie, that's mm. Malcolm. Yeah. He was also in Tenant. He was also in another movie that was on the ship. You see, those three movies are completely different. different. Yeah. If we did that with JKA, for example, nobody's gonna complain. But what you will find is JKA being a lover boy here, then a lover boy in the city, then another lover boy in the village, then another lover. Well, as a house boy, is he not a lover boy in high school? Then a lover love boy that traveled abroad and didn't know who his parents are. The story is the same, and that's what he's talking about. And that's why, um, I, I was trying to explain to you from the early conversation when you said he needs to uh, um, understand the two differences between stereotyping and what he was complaining about, where we're making the same kind of stories yeah. because he's trying to connect those two things. The reason why he the actors are forced to have the same role is because people are, um, and the storytellers are saying the same story. So no, not exactly. Gonna, no, it's not really, has grown yeah. past that, actually. And they how? We're, we're doing, we're still to, there. No, 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 I'm sorry. 
I apologize, but Nollywood in the last five years mm -hmm. has developed. Yes, it Either has. we like but it we or still, not. But we still are we regurgitating um, um, same storylines. Story yes, I've seen a movie like Baba. we let, let me even first tell you this for a fact. We have produced probably any possible storyline that is available yeah, in this planet. That, no, that, unless we want to diversify. No, to we, have we have not. We have not at this all. No, we are. We have, uh, which is we will, we let, I didn't tell you. I didn't we've tell you. not done about horror movies. We've not, <laughs> we've not tried to do feature films like Marco Marie. We're just two people in the house throughout. We have uh, to go, sorry, do you, have you ever heard of a Mika Ike's career? <laughs> yeah. No, there's been people there. There's what been are you talking about? Ah, uh, no. no. Ramsey Noah's entire career. He's the only one in his movie. <laughs> what? No, no, no. no you said Marco Marie. No, I mean Marco life. Marie. Is the, there, there's just two of them the whole time. That, we have not gotten there, there yet. There are movies like that, actually. In um, Nigeria? Yes, now. Okay, we'll talk about it when, you, when we come movies. back. It's okay. Have you guys seen mm. it? No or inform me. Excuse me. Um, ladies. Have you guys seen it? Gentlemen and gentlemen. It's time to go on a quick break. We'll be right back.